All right, welcome back to the ham special, everyone. And Rudo's freaking out on us because she is a witch. I think I've mentioned that a couple of times. Um, all right. So if you'll notice, that elevator took us back to this first room with the boxes and the one beery. So if we go back in here, excellent. We are back in the room that we uh, started in. And now we're not going to drop down holes like we did last time. We're going to run past all these holes. We're going to run in here. And that's a very, that's an extra powerful version of the beery. Also electrifies you, but it can also uh, spin those uh, its like blade-like arms around. And uh, so yeah. All right. I don't know why everything is electrified in this game, but it is. All right. So in this room, well, I guess I can carry Rudo through here. In this room, we have these things, which. Uh, are electrified like everything else. So we want to avoid killing them too. Ah, crap. Crap, not no bueno. And I don't think the slingshot does any good. Come on. Yeah, doesn't do a darn bit of good. All right, so we're just going to avoid them altogether. All right, so that thing over here is electrified, like everything else in this dungeon, that uh, pulsating mass of something. Ah, crap. Oh, good. I'm so glad he dropped magic. That's just what I needed. Um, so, yeah, anytime you see one of those, you cannot go that way. Crap, I'm going to die. I'm totally going to die. Actually, I'm not either, because... We'll throw Rudo. Get out of here. Nobody wants you. We have milk. Awesome. Perfect. I guess milk's more helpful, helpful than I thought. Okay. We can go put our slingshot back there. All right, so we got another pulsating mass of something, but we have a door that we can access with this switch, like so. This switch, it doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone, Link. Well, good thing we have another person on top of us. Look at that. If you just jumped on it like just by yourself, it wouldn't have gone down, but since we have Rudo, our combined weight presses the switch down. All right, so now we put Rudo down because we're going to need to have our slingshot for this room. All right, so we got a whole bunch of uh, stingrays we have to kill in this room. Man, this is just a weird dungeon. Look at the floor. It's just... It's alive. Come on, come out already. There we go. Okay, okay. Well, I just learned something new. I guess you can get them to come out with the uh, Deku Nut. Okay, so um, we're having some issues here with this controller. The buttons are not always... Okay, okay. Wow. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, so we got a treasure chest to appear. What could it be? What could it be? We got the boomerang! The dungeon item. The boomerang, it's a long-range attack weapon. And it comes back to you, as you would expect a boomerang to. And the boomerang... Joy to the world... Actually, let's put it over here, and we'll put our bombs over here, and the slingshot here. There we go. 
the boomerang can kill all of those electrified things that we found in this dungeon. Except for the pulsating mass. I can't kill the pulsating mass. But there is a way to get rid of the pulsating mass. Um, we're just going to run past him. Even though we can kill him now, we don't really need to. So, here we go over here. So we have another pulsating mass, but we have another switch that we can drop on. We can uh, stand on. Now this one is a pressure switch. Hop off it. Look at that. Alright, so we're going to leave Rudo on the switch. Like so. And then we're going to go into the room. Okay, so we have this giant tentacle thing hanging from the ceiling, which is really disturbing. Alright, so it, like everything else, is electrified. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack it with the boomerang. However, we have to wait for it to start to swing at us. Like this. Come on, come back down. Okay. There we go. Got him. And look, another treasure chest. Beautiful. That is wonderful. We got the dungeon map. So glad we got that dungeon map. I just need the compass for it to be helpful. Alright, so... Nothing else to do in here but leave, and we're gonna get scolded by a pissed off Rudo because we left her behind. She's all... How inconsiderate! How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Yeah, I left you behind. That's right, because you're a witch. Nobody likes you. You're also ugly. And you'll notice that the pulsating mass that was here is gone. It is connected to that... Yeah, the red slimy thing is gone. Must be because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the other ones, too? So, yeah. You kill the tail. That particular pulsating mass dies. Alright, so in this room we got 40 seconds to kill all these bubbles. If you run into them, they will die, even though they hurt you. So... Kind of, this isn't a very hard puzzle right here. Hard task. You could use the boomerang or uh, the slingshot if you so choose, but uh, it's a little bit quicker, in my opinion, to just run at them. Look at that, perfect. Alright. So, in the course of the course of like five minutes, we have obtained the dungeon item, the boomerang, the compass, and the dungeon map. So, we are now set to uh, move on, and that looks like a good place to stop for me. Um, so yeah, tune in next time as we uh, do something else in this dungeon. Ta-ta for now, I'm Izzy.